Smoky Joe portable grill and a Weber portable charcoal grilling table. It's kind of a nice table. It has the slots in here that are designed to fit the Smoky Joe, the Smoky Jumbo Joe, or if you have a rectangular Weber go anywhere gas or go anywhere charcoal grill. It has these little locking mechanisms which do lock the unit into place so that if you bump the table it's not going to go anywhere. It's pretty well, pretty well in there. Also has a small little side over here which you can use for a uh, countertop. I also have a little silicone mat here. Doesn't come with that. Um, has these little hooks in the side here where you can hang your tongs or a towel or anything and it's on both sides. The uh, legs do come off and store underneath for portable compact storage and also for ease of uh, bringing with you if you're going to go anywhere outdoors. And um, we're going to go ahead and give this a try today. Right, we have an igniter cube in there. So we're going to go ahead and get that started. And then in our compact chimney starter, we also have about 26 um, lump, hardwood lump uh, briquettes. So get that going. They're looking good in there. I think we're just about ready to dump them. Kept my glove on. Did a nice job. Okay. Now what we're gonna do, since this is the first juice, is we're gonna put the lid on and we're gonna let all that factory oil and paint and whatever, whatever's in there, uh, go ahead and burn off. Oh, after I put the grill back on, of course. We're going to be grilling these Johnsonville cheddar brats today, and I've got all the coals mostly on that side of the grill, and we're going to put these over here on this side of the grill, just so they're not directly on the coals. And also an option you have is to use a grilling mat if you so choose as well. So maybe we'll give it a try and see if these things really work the way they say they're going to work. Just as a little experiment. Alright, so they're all on there. And I've really been wanting to try out these grilling mats to see if they're all they're cracked up to be. So we're going to find out. Put this on. I've closed down the uh, little top there a little bit and also on the bottom so it's not so hot and we'll see how this goes. There's the sausages. They didn't do too badly on that grill mat. Some of them even have grill marks. The others might have except for I was moving them around but they look pretty good. I've rotated this around so they're sitting on top of the, uh, the coals at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and give them a temperature check and we'll see if they're done. So these are definitely done going to go ahead and take them off the grill, put on a few buns. The nice thing about this grill mat is all of this stuff here can be just wiped away instead of burning onto the bottom of the Weber. I did line the Weber with some foil so that the grease and juice wouldn't burn down there, but this might be a better idea. All of this, even the burnt cheese, is just wiping right up, so that's kind of nice. I'm just going to finish getting this all wiped up, and then I'll put on the buns. There's the brat buns on there. And earlier, before I threw the brats on, I did throw some hickory chicks, chips down there. They're still there, kind of burning away a little bit. But this Smoky Joe did a great job. This table turned out to be fantastic. And I really like that silicone tray. It did a good job too. I'm gonna be happy with this setup here. Some of those hickory chips are still burning. Now what I'm gonna do is I have this little metal pail here that I'm gonna put my charcoal into. And it's going to help to put the charcoal out. And then I can also use them later if I want to or just dispose of them. But if you've got some good bits left. It's a, you know, just a thought, an idea. And I think, I'm not sure I'm going to need this foil on the bottom the next time. But you use the grilling mat, nothing's really dripping down. So let's get this in that bin. So all in all, the Smoky Joe did a great job. The table did a great job. 
Inside looks great. We're gonna go eat.